switch tracks to our audiences. You will remember that uh, the Congress is set to have elections for their presidential post next month. And in the run up to that, it was expected till a few days ago that the Chief Minister of Rajasthan, Ashok Gehlot, would step down from his post to file his nomination papers for this other post, that of being Congress president across the entire country. Now, you remember that last night's events actually threw water on that. Now we know that it's possible that he won't be stepping down. And the breaking news coming in regarding that is that Ajay Makan and Malika Arjun Kharge, the two senior Congress leaders who had been sent to coordinate efforts in the Rajasthan Congress and were going to, after all of yesterday's drama, meet with the Congress MLAs in Rajasthan and ask them what it is that they wanted. We now know that's not going to be taking place possibly. They're going to be coming back uh, and they're coming to Delhi. They'll be submitting their report to the top leadership. I believe the MLAs in Rajasthan are not actually ready to meet the observers. They've said that clearly. They've also given three conditions. Let's go over to our colleague, uh, senior editor Pallavi Ghosh, to bring us more details. Pallavi, uh, I'm learning of conditions that the MLAs have given. Could you shed a light on what these conditions might be? So a couple of things over here, Toya. Uh, first of all, complete breakdown of any kind of a, a solution certainly seems to be taking place. There's an impasse now between both the sides. So what we are now hearing is by an afternoon flight, both Ajay Makan as well as Madhikarjun Kharge are expected to come back to the national capital. And uh, the whole decision has now been deferred till the presidential polls are over, which is on 19th of October. But more importantly, what we are being told is that the meeting, the CLP meeting, which was called, was actually called at the behest of Ashok Gehlot, which is why two observers were sent out. The initial plan was that a single line resolution would be passed, leaving the decision to the interim president. But we saw the sequence of events as it broke out yesterday. There were a meeting with a couple of MLAs which took place between uh, the MLAs as well as Markan and Kharge. And there were three points which came out of those meetings. Is that first of all, the MLAs were very reluctant to have any one-on-one -on -one meeting with the observers. That's one. Second, some MLAs were outrightly making the point that Sachin Pilot or anyone from his camp should not be made the chief minister because they are unreliable. And of course, the third point is that let's take a call only after presidential elections are over. Uh, so these are the three important conditions which were put forward between the, before the observers. And observers are not ready to listen to all of those conditions because they said that we've come here to look for a solution, not for the creation of further problems. Now, I think uh, the situation certainly becomes very, very precarious for the central leadership. And that's the reason why we are going to see a certain amount of stalemate, at least till the presidential polls are over. Uh, Pallavi, an important question to ask here. How do we think all of this drama playing out in Rajasthan is going to affect Gehlot's chances as, as the presidential candidate? I think that's a very, very critical point at this point of time. Uh, you know, uh, the, uh, Ashok Gehlot as a president was hopefully going to give a closure not just to a leadership issue in the Congress party, but also closure to the whole question about will Sachin Pilot ever become the chief minister of Rajasthan. So the calculation was that Gehlot shifts to Delhi and because of one man, one post, a commitment which according to Pilot that has been made to him earlier would be fulfilled and he would become the chief minister, lead the party till the next elections in 2023. But now a section in the central leadership is also very upset because they feel that Ashok Gehlot has also perhaps uh, pushed the envelope a bit too far. The fact is that the MLAs are uh, also rebelling, they are protesting. And in such a situation, to have Ashok Gehlot as a party president and someone else as a CM, will that really not jeopardize the chances of the Congress party further? So mm. there is a possible rethink that Ashok Gehlot does not file his nomination papers. He continues perhaps as a chief minister of Rajasthan or they'll find some solution to Rajasthan as well. But at the same time, um, many are giving this input that Ashok Gehlot as a party president is okay. actually going to create more problems than solve the problem. So why even I consider him for the top post? Pallavi, thank you so much for that uh, entire context for our audiences.